Have you ever asked yourself um, what actually ticks are and how they get on our dogs and us and how can we protect our dogs and us the natural way? Hi, I'm Itka. I'm the founder of Vita Canis and happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers. Here at Vita Canis, we help you to naturally and organically improve the health and happiness of your dog. What are ticks? Um, ticks are external parasites related to spiders and mites. Adult tick are uh, approximately three to five millimeter in length, depending on uh, age, sex, species, and fullness. <laughs> they are living um, by feeding on the blood, not only of uh, mammals, but also birds and sometimes reptiles and amphibians. Ticks are widely distributed around the world, especially in warm, humid climates. Here in the UK, ticks have become more abundant um, and have extended their distribution in Europe during the last two to three decades. Changes in farming, global warming, uh, more animals moving around and across the borders all contributed to this. Years ago, you might have only uh, come across ticks in rural or wood areas, but these days uh, we are at risk of tick bites when spending time uh, in uh, public areas like parks, gardens, or while cycling, running, or doing any outdoor activities. Ticks don't jump like fleas. They have a different approach. They wait patiently in the grass or bushes or other vegetation. And when the target approaches, they just drop themselves on. Um, ticks operate mainly by using their sense of smell. Uh, they do something called questing. That is, they climb on the top of a blade of grass or a plant and stick their front legs up in the air, waiting uh, for the scent of a victim walking by. If you find one on your head, then it crawled there. Uh, their front pair of legs have what are called um, hellas organs, which detect uh, smell, temperature, movement, and carbon dioxide. This is how they know you are coming. They love warmth and moisture and are just waiting for a warm, moist environment to call home, such as your dog or you. Ticks carry a number of diseases, um, not only well-known Lyme disease. Uh, one of them is a tick-borne encephalitis, TBE, uh, and there are a few others. However, these are the two most uh, prevalent uh, in Europe. Uh, according to the NHS website, uh, you can see it at the bottom, the chance of catching uh, Lyme disease from an individual tick ranges from roughly 0 to 50% and the risk of contracting Lyme disease from a tick bite depends on three factors. The tick species, where the tick came from and how long it was biting you for. So for more information, for more details, visit NHS website. We've all been very concerned about our dogs catching ticks but we need to protect ourselves as well. I hope you like this video so far. Please like it and share it with your dog loving friends. Make sure you keep to the middle of the path and try to avoid overhanging vegetation. Always check yourself after a nice walk in the woodlands. Take a shower after spending time outdoors and wash your clothes in hot water. If you find any tick feeding, remove the tick promptly and clean the bite side with an antiseptic such as soothing antiseptic spray.
Stay with me till the end for an extra aromatherapy tip. How to protect your dog. Spray him all over with a thick wrapping spray. When on your walk in woodlands, don't let your dog browse in overhanging vegetation. Check your dog thoroughly after a walk. If you find any ticks feeding, remove the tick promptly and clean the bite side with an antiseptic such as soothing antiseptic spray. Keep an eye on the area, watch for any symptoms of Lyme disease and if you see your dog is unwell, contact your vet immediately. Why to choose natural repellent such as Tickoff? Choosing a natural tick repellent is not only better for you and your dog, but also for the environment. When I decided to develop insect, flea and tick repelling products, I wanted them to be safe, but not only for our dogs and us, but also for the environment. Commercial repellents are containing synthetic ingredients that repel fleas, ticks, insects. However, many of them have been linked to skin irritation, negative respiratory effects and rashes, as well as having a negative effect on uh, bees, fish, birds and the environment in general. Scientists find that some flea and tick repellents uh, for pets are poisoned in rivers and lakes across the UK. The discovery is extremely uh, concerning for water insects and the fish and birds that depend on them. You can use the soothing antiseptic spray on the, uh, directly on the skin or you can make your own soothing blend. Thanks for watching and don't let ticks spoil your spring walks. Protect your dog, protect yourself and keep aromatherapy in.